By the way, a huge surprise, uh, Gizmodo.com declined our request to appear in tonight's loop, but we're happy to still have these guys with us. In San Francisco, editor for CNETWebware.com, Rafe Needleman joins us, and in New York, managing editor at Silicon Alley, insider Peter Kafka joins us. Welcome to the loop, everybody. Uh, Peter, right. we'll start with you. Simply, do you think it was a prank? Is this a harmless joke, or was this destructive, and does the entire blogosphere deserve to be banned from Vegas? Oh, it's mostly a joke, and it's mostly harmless, unless you're one of the poor people with a crappy job on the CES floor doing four or five days of demos, and your demo, which is bad enough to begin with, uh, gets screwed up by some jerk with an with a IR device. Uh, and then it kind of sucks, just like TPing someone's house is pretty funny unless you've got to go pick up a toilet paper the next day. Then it's less funny. That's true. But what if you explain that the toilet paper actually represents freedom and you were fighting terrorism and women's lib by throwing it into the tree? Is, does that make it okay? That would be awesome, I, dude, but really it's just <laughs> some guys screwing around generating page yeah. views. Well, not only does Gizmodo, I'm sure they love the attention, but many have, have defended their actions by saying that the stunt was pretty entertaining, and that should be enough. Rafe, do you agree? It, it was sort of humorous for a lot of people, but, you know, it's like you're interviewing somebody for, uh, for a story and you just give them a wedgie out of nowhere. It's not journalism. It was just juvenile. It might have been funny, but it was juvenile and stupid and not what reporting what a, writing opinions is about. It was just a dumb prank, and obviously a lot of people are lashing out against uh, Gizmodo for it. Well, Rafe, what about their response? Because, uh, you know, at first they did say we might be a little bit sorry for that. That was in the initial post with the video. But then this morning, you know, they kind of came out and said, hey, look, here's exactly why we did it. It was a bolder statement, I, uh, almost I artistic, if you will. Do you buy it? No, I, I think that was uh, trying to justify what they did after the fact. I thought it was, you know, it's a funny thing. Let's tape a TV be gone to the side of a camera and go shoot a bunch of... Uh, screens being shut off, and then afterwards, after all that criticism, for them to say, oh, listen, we're, you know, defenders of the First Amendment and all that, I, I don't buy it. Yeah, I don't think they ever said they were defending the First Amendment. I think, I think they're honestly sort of going back and forth. Most people who are working for Gawker Media or most sort of conventional blogs at this point don't have a lot of experience with national media attention, and they don't usually have to defend their actions. Uh, so this is sort of a new thing for them, and I think they're honestly trying to feel their way through it. I'm sure they gave it no thought at all prior to that. They thought it'd be funny. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're just trying to reconcile it now. But, Peter, if, well, if, know, the, if the website is really that sorry, wouldn't they have at least removed the post and perhaps the offending video? Yeah, well, no, the, webs the website what? is not that sorry. I mean, they, they've generated more than 567,000 page views on the site alone last time I looked. Uh, Nick Denton, who owns Gawker Media, and, which owns Gizmodo, and, you know, uh, is completely happy right, with it. Right, crying all the way to the AdSense. Rafe, you wanted to jump in there? Yeah, and I'll just say, I'll, I'll give credit to Gizmodo for not taking down that story, for leaving it up and, and trying to, to make good on it. I'll also give him credit for leaving up a 2004 review of the TV Be Gone, <laughs> in which they wrote, the inventor of it is an a-hole, and not just any a-hole, but one of those snotty, <laughs> holier-than-thou types who has nothing better to do than to develop a device with the sole purpose of imposing his viewpoint on others. That was Gizmodo's take on this product, which they then used as a prank at CES. Right, and, and several years too late, might anybody add. Uh, it, it, it's worth pointing out that the, the, the bloggers and the gadget guys, particularly in, in the gadget blog world, they live in a, a sort of uneasy alliance slash tension. They're kind of outlaws. They're kind of out there getting photographs that the guys don't want them to put out. But Peter, but how is this going? happy to have them put out there. How is this event and, and going the way, to affect Apple, them now? It's not going to affect them. Last year, Brian Lamb, who's the editor of Gizmodo, was one of, I think, five people. One was from the Wall Street Journal. I think another was from the Times who got to touch the iPhone a year ago when Steve Jobs brought it out. Uh, and if Steve Jobs liked Brian Lamb and Gizmodo a year ago, he's not going to not like them now because they made jackasses of themselves at uh, CES. Unless Brian points the TV be gone at the Steve Jobs keys note tomorrow and turns it off. I mean, that won't which work, isn't of gonna, Which isn't going to happen because Brian is much of a rebel and, a, and a, you know, uh, Yep. crazy guy as he is, isn't going to piss off Steve Jobs. Right, but Brian That's is right. one thing, but for the guy so who runs geocities.com slash tilde tech zone slash laser awesome show, like that guy might be denied a badge, right? This could affect people who have blogs that aren't as big and aren't backed by companies like Gawker. Isn't you know, I, I don't think this is going to have a huge backlash on bloggers as a class. I think it will force uh, any, any company who wants press from whether it's a, uh, the Times or Gizmodo or, or Joe's blog or whatever to look at who they're dealing with and say, can I trust this person to treat me fairly? But honestly, um, in a way, we're all bloggers now, and all bloggers are becoming journalists in the, when they get to this level of exposure. Um, I would hope that people would understand what journalism is and isn't and do that and do it really well and right. do it with great opinion and satire. But 
I, I think it's just that the, the companies are going yeah, to pay I, closer I, attention to who they're talking with. I think those distinctions are pretty much gone, just like Rafe said. I, I wrote as much uh, about a week ago. I mean, Microsoft's Bill Gates sat down for one-on-one -on -one interviews with both Engadget and Gizmodo. No one even bats an eye at that anymore. I mean, the distinction about what is a blog and what is a mainstream publication is pretty much gone. So if you're a jerk, you're a jerk. and It doesn't matter whether you're working for an amateur right. publication or a grown-up one. So, Rafe, as far as the action taken against Gizmodo and Gizmodo's response, is this thing done and has enough been done, or does Gizmodo need to issue an apology for their long-winded apology that kind of fell flat? No, I thought it was done yesterday, and then this diatribe came out. Um, I think it'll peter out over the next couple of days. I, I think, ultimately, the readers, um, the customers of Gizmodo will decide by going there or not. Probably, ultimately, this is going to help Gizmodo's traffic. Yeah, because they're all going time. there to see the video anyways. And yeah. maybe they'll stick around for the real world versus Booth Babes poll, because that was also uh, intense and, journalism. Uh, Peter, I want to give you the... Gizmodo does next. I want to give you the final word here uh, very quickly. It was kind of funny, right? Like, it was kind of, you, you laughed. You laughed, I, right? I, I, I smiled, and then, you know, I'm an old dude. I'm 36, and then I, I felt bad for the people yeah. who worked at those shows. Yeah. And if you've been on the show floor, you know that it sucks, and I felt bad for them. Well, I agree with you guys as well. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thanks to my guests, Rafe and Peter, thank for you. keeping us in the loop. That was a, a lot of fun, guys. Thanks a lot. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.